the last video we built our first little orchestration here and we did a build on it and now we're ready to deploy it. So rather than deploying just the orchestration, we're going to deploy the entire solution. Um, since I've added a new project to my solution, I need to go look at my configuration properties. And you notice that new projects by default are not being deployed. So I need to click that little deploy box to make sure that PO orchestrations gets deployed along with everything else. So then I do a right click deploy solution and I'll pause the video. So that was about eight or nine seconds to deploy. After the deploy, what we need to do is configure this orchestration. So we can either do it here in the BizTalk Explorer, but I prefer to do it over in BizTalk Admin Console. So here I need to refresh since I've done a deploy. This is the first time now we'll see orchestrations over here. And by default, when you deploy an orchestration, it's going to be what's called unbound or unenlisted. And the next thing we'll do, well, actually the next thing we need to do is to bind it. But before we bind it, we have to have something to bind it to. So let me show you what binding is about. If I go to properties of that orchestration and then click bindings, we can set the host, which is the uh, BizTalk server instance that, that it will run under. But here, what we need to do is tie it to some receive ports and send ports. And so we don't have all those set up yet. So the first question is, do we already have any send receive ports we can use, or do we need to create all new ones? So let's uh, just click OK here, and let's go do a quick review of our send and receive port scenarios. So we're going to be using this demo map in, because we've already tested that in prior videos. And then we have a send port we do have a demo map out. However, if you remember, that actually has a subscription on it. So what we're going to do is create a, two new send ports. And this is going to be called, um, let's call it orchestration demo one out. And this will be a flat file. And we'll configure it to go to disk. And now I go to the disk. I'm going to create a couple of new directories here. So we're going to create the approval and non-approval directories. So we'll start with the non-approval one. We're going to copy that directory name and just paste it in right here. And we'll call this non-approval PO. We'll click OK. And then that will be an XML transmit. So that was ORC demo out, and let's also put the word uh, non approved. Or non approved, doesn't need approval. Uh, let's just call it non approved. Keep it easy. Well, actually, let me make that easier. It's actually approved. If it's under $1,000, let's call it auto approved. Okay. So even the name of the directory, I think here should be uh, should be auto approved. Then we'll have to change the directory name back here. create another port that looks almost the same, new one way. To be consistent, we will type the name the same, out demo 01. I don't know why I put out on there twice. Or no, orc. Orc demo 01 out needs approval. Okay, and then we're going to pick file, configure, and then we're going to go over here and get this name. the end there. And we'll put here needs approval PO. So we're going to click OK there and we're going to make sure it's a XML transmit and we'll take all the other defaults about this directory. Now we'll need to start these 
Another video will explain what start and enlist means. Then we look at our receipt ports again. We already have a receipt port. So I don't think we need to do anything to that. So now we're going to go back to our orchestrations. Right click properties and go back to bindings. And so here's our receipt port. So when we, we click the button and it's going to give us a list of all the receipt ports that are in the same application. And that will be receive map demo in. And what this is doing is basically creating a subscription that says when someone drops a file in that directory, in addition to going to all the other SIN ports that have filters established, create a new subscription, basically a new filter, that says also send that message to this orchestration. And since we have an activating receive, it basically means start a new orchestration anytime anybody drops a file in this directory. Okay, now here's our two SIN ports. So we just pick, the first one is no approval means uh, okay so this one means needs approval and this one means it's not approved therefore it's no approvals required which means it's auto re auto approved so we should actually have made these names a little more similar but you can see this is the a logical port and this is more like a physical port so this name on the left was the name of the port inside your orchestration if I go back over here you see here port sin standard PO approve that's the name right here. And on the right side, we're linking that internal name to an external name. And the advantage of that is you could change it anytime you want without having to recompile and redeploy your orchestration. So for now, that's all we need to do. Let's click OK. And now we need to start the orchestration as well. And that can take actually five to fifteen seconds to get an orchestration started. I'm not sure what all it's doing behind the scenes, but it's not always immediate. Okay, it's started now. So now, when we say started, that means the status of the orchestration. It's available. It's not really running yet. And so what we do here is, we're now going to kick a file in. So we need, uh, we'll keep using our complex flat file. We're going to go here to map demo in. We're going to drop our order complex. Okay, and the file should be sucked in real quick there. We'll go to hat and see what's going on. Okay, so we actually got pretty good success here. We are at 11, November 13th at 12.08. So everything I've just highlighted here on the screen is what just now happened between 12.08 and 6 seconds and 12.08 and 11 seconds. The flat file, complex file was received and then due to routing we actually sent the file to two other directories. And at the same time then an orchestration started, ran and finished and that orchestration also transmitted the file. Now it looks like we have maybe more transmits here than what we need. So let's go look at our directories. One of the questions is, is the file we just submitted, was it over or under 1,000? And it was only $188. So if we go to the auto approval directory, you see we have a non-approval, means it doesn't need to be approved, and there's our order. If we go to the needs approval directory, there's nothing there. Meanwhile, our other two ports are map demo out uh, it also got the order because the filters are still on. So even though we're running an orchestration, our other SIN ports are still running as well, and the message also got sent over here. So if you want to follow this message all the way through, you would start here on the basically the flat file received. You do a right click and do message flow. And you can see the message came in here. And then this is where all it got sent. So there were three receivers of the message. These are our two send ports that we did back before we learned about orchestrations. And then this is the orchestration that got started. So let's click on the orchestration itself. And then you can see here, for some reason, that we see three different transmits. That's what still kind of, I think, is strange. OK, so I'm going to try to explain to you why we got the three receives here. It was a what I would call an unexpected side effect. So when we go back over here, if we sort this, this is our map demo out. 
and this is our regular send ports and it has nothing to do with our orchestration. You notice at today's date and time I have two messages there and Total Commander has a file compare utility. If I do a file compare by content you can see the two files it says are identical. And so what happened here, this is a little tricky to explain, I'm going to go back to the send ports and this for instance is a send port we wrote the other day, in a, I mean in a prior video. And if I look at its properties and filters, let's check that again, that doesn't look right. So basically here in our prior demonstrations we'd use these two ports and they're set up to filter to receive all standard POs. So they actually receive this each one actually received the same standard PO twice. The first time was because of the the map on the receive port and then the second time was actually in the orchestration where we sent the PO that goes to the BizTalk message box and since the PO is in the same format it actually received it again. So that's why we have basically two of the same ma messages in the uh, demo out and also on the FTP site here on today at 11.13 we got two of the exact same messages. So to avoid that happening what we're going to do for now is we're just going to um, stop these two send ports that were basically from prior lessons. And now we're going to run this thing again. So we're going to go to the map demo in and we're going to drop the complex file and show you the difference. So we're going to go to hat close the message flow and then rerun the query and this is now more probably what you're expecting so at uh, 1218 here we basically had one file in it went to the orchestration and we wrote one file out so to recap we have created an orchestration we deployed it we dropped our file the file came in it started a new orchestration the orchestration ran to completion and then the uh, file was transmitted to the transmit directory and again we could look at message flow here and you see the message came in here's the orchestration so you can follow to the next step here this is the uh, orchestration and then you can see it transmitted it to a port called no approval and if you go there you can actually see the directory that it got written to And so that concludes this demo on running our first orchestration.